Hi, my name is Emma Burkhalter, and I just worked on a group project with Ross McConnell, Cesar Hernandez, and Brandon Davis about why HGTC professors should add more resources than just the textbook to online courses. We had a group discussion about what this project would be, be about, and we went over many different ideas. During this discussion, we discovered that each of us did better in online courses whenever there was more resources given than just the textbook. We discovered that videos and PowerPoints were helping us do better in our classes, but not every professor here at HGTC were providing those things in their courses. We also talked about different learning styles and every student learning differently because some of us we learn better with just the textbook and then some of us we learn better through videos and PowerPoints. That was whenever we decided to go with this topic. We thought that it would help every single HGTC online student do better in their classes, especially online, to understand course content and be more successful in their classes. For learning styles, you can remember all of the learning styles with the acronym VARC. Visual, auditory, reading and writing, and kinesthetic. Every student learns with one of these four learning styles we discovered in research, and if these resources were given, each student will have the tools to be more successful. If you look to the right, I put a graph on here, and not all of these ways could be accommodated for the online learning environment, but some of them can't. For visual, majority of these can be accommodated to an online environment. Auditory, read alouds could be provided, um, verbal instructions, and discussions can be provided as well. Reading and writing, this would uh, be accommodated with just the textbook like it is now, and this is the main learning style that professors at HGTC have been accommodating through their courses. Online students have a lot more struggles than in-person stu uh, students because of mental health issues due to not socializing enough or technical difficulties because all of their coursework is online. It can cause a big distraction from course material whenever you're dealing with these things. Giving them resources that are in their learning style makes learning the material a lot easier and a lot less stressful for these students. It can, you know, make a world of a difference for these students who are struggling with mental health and struggling to find a work-life balance. Learning disabilities in college also make course content a lot harder to understand. With having ADHD and other learning disabilities, it can make it difficult to learn complex course material. So if we were to accommodate that with learning styles, it would make the work a lot easier to understand for these, uh, these students. Neurotypical students go through a big adjustment whenever they go to college with finding a work-life balance and finding different ways that they learn and everything. But when it comes to learning styles, uh, learning disabilities with people with ADHD, it can be a lot harder to adjust to this and learn their learning style and figure out a good routine. And so if they don't have that, that can lead to depression and anxiety, which leads to not being motivated to do schoolwork. We also completed a survey with online students and we found that 80% of professors did not include other resources than just the textbook. So 20% of these professors were giving more than just the textbook. But how, how helpful was this? A lot of students, majority of students said an eight out of one through 10 of helpfulness. And then some, some students said a seven. So that's rated pretty high on how helpful these materials were. How has more resources helped students in the past? Well, we interviewed Professor Jay Priester 
and we discussed with him on how his teaching tactics helped his students understand the course better. He said that he was able to focus on topics that he wanted to make sure his students knew, and the class was more specific and modified. So he was doing videos for these students, making the lessons more modified to what he wanted them to learn in the course, and made it easier because the textbook has a lot of information. And so the students were able to specifically study the stuff that Professor Jay Priester was trying to teach them. This improved test grades and assignment grades even in his class so that they could be more successful and complete the course better. So if HGTC professors provided more resources, success rates would rise at HGTC and the online courses would be more accommodating to the HGTC students with learning disabilities and mental health struggles. Classes will be modified to give information to students that they need to know exactly to pass tests and to pass finals and to just do better in the class overall. This is what would cause success rates to rise. Through this project, I discovered that not every person was able to learn the way that I do, and not every person was able to learn the way that my best friend does even. So every learning style needs to be accommodated at HGTC. Thank you.